hey guys and welcome to another video if you're someone who watches netflix a lot then you've probably seen this netflix intro but today i'm going to be showing you how to make that exact intro in adobe after effects without any plugin okay so the tutorial is a bit complicated and a bit long so just going to start right away okay so once you open after effects click on new composition and set the width to 2000 and the height to 400 this is going to be the bar that we use to make the end shape in the composition create a new solid and make it red then add the linear wipe effect to the solid in the linear wipe effect change the wipe angle to 90 and the transition completion to 100 then toggle animation for it and move one second in the timeline and change it to zero after that go to five seconds in the timeline and repeat the last keyframe which is zero then move another one second and change it to 100 and also add feather to the effect i'm going to make it 1000 then solve the animation for the feather then somewhere in the middle of the timeline change it to zero. this will make the feather only show when it fades out now duplicate the solid and add the block dissolve effect to it and change the transition completion to 75 and the block width to 2500 and block height to 5 then duplicate the second solid and in the block dissolve effect change the transition completion to 90 the block height to 3 and disable the soft edges after that add the fill effect and change it to orange and move the solid forward in the timeline to have some kind of delay then move the red solid at the bottom to the top of everything this will create those lines at the end of the end shape when you're done with all that, create a new composition with the regular settings. I'm going to use a 1920 by 1080 composition. Drag the bar composition to the timeline and scale it down. I'm going to scale mine down to 28. Then change the rotation to minus 90 to make it straight. Duplicate the bar two times, then move one to the left and the other one to the right, and there should be no space in between. And change the rotation of the one in the center to 90 degrees. Then add the corner pane effect to the bar in the center and align the two points at the top to the bar at the right and the two points at the bottom to the bar at the left. Now this will create that N shape that is in the Netflix intro. Now add the exposure effect to the bar at the left and at the right and change it to minus 1.5. So it's time to change the timing of the bars coming in. In the timeline, go to where the left bar fully comes in, then move the center bar to start from there. Then go to where the center bar fully comes in and move the right bar to start from there. The beginning of the animation now looks good. Now it's time to work on the ending. Enable time remapping for each of the bars and using keyframes, make each of the bars fade out properly like in the original Netflix intro. Then add the drop shadow to the left bar and change the softness to around 659 and select shadow only. Then duplicate it and in the duplicate, disable shadow only and change the softness to 122. Now create a new solid and you can make it any color. Double click on the ellipse tool to automatically create a circular mask. Then drag the mask to the lower edge of the end and change the blending mode to silhouette alpha to create that curve at the bottom. Now we start getting deep into it by animating a 3D camera. Create a new camera with the default setting and enable 3D for all the layers in the timeline. Under the camera, toggle the animation for all the properties. Now select the dolly tool then click and drag the cursor down to make the camera move backwards which will make the end smaller. Then when the animation is about to end, click and drag the cursor up to make the camera move forward and zoom into the end. Then select the keyframes that were created at the end and move it to the right to make the camera move forward after the animation ends. Then select the first keyframes that were created and ease out the keyframes by pressing Ctrl Shift F9 to make the animation smoother. Now we are about to enter the hard part of this effect which is the animation after the end fades out. Create a new composition with the width and height as 1500. Then create a new solid and it can be any color. In the solid, add the four color gradient effect and change the first color to orange, the second color to red the third color to blue and you can make the last one either red or blue then add the cc starburst effect to the solid in the effect i'm going to change the scatter to 300 the speed to 3 and the grid spacing to 30 and the size to 30. add the fact box blur to the solid then change the blood radius to 2500 and the blood dimensions to vertical now just to be clear when you do this you will see nothing so don't be confused to see what you have done add the curves effects to the solid and in the effect, change the channel to alpha and drag the line all the way up. 
and now you can see that we have those animated lines randomly moving now that you can see it you can go ahead and adjust the settings to get your desired look you can also toggle the animation and animate it to get what you are satisfied with when you're done with that add the venetian blind effects to the solid and i'm going to animate the lines to disappear by toggling the animation for the transition completion when you're done add that composition to the main composition towards the end of the animation and also enable 3d then change the width and the height to fit the bar and it should look like the real intro then create a regular composition and add the main composition to the timeline now all you need to do is to speed up some parts of the composition to make it look like the real netflix intro and you're done it can take you some time to get it right but after some tries you should get it right so thank you all for watching this video and if you like this video and want to see more make sure to like and subscribe below and i will see you in the next video